Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do a quick overview of the B theme. The B theme is probably my favorite theme right now. I use it as the foundation for a lot of the sites that I do. Um, and I love it because it has really good SEO. It has, as you can see here, over 240 um, themes to choose from. I used it to do Kiana's website. I've used it to do um, some of my my favorite websites actually. But we're gonna get into it right now. Um, so what you'll do is you will log into your GoDaddy control panel. As I said, I always recommend that you log into your GoDaddy panel at least, a minimum, at least once per month. This way you can stay up to date with any products or services or any service interruptions or anything that might be going on with your site. I also strongly recommend that um, you do sign up for one of our maintenance packages if you decide you don't want to do the maintenance on your site yourself. Because as you can see, um, there will be updates required to your hosting, similar to how a cell phone works. Um, there's software updates, etc. But now we're going to just look at B theme very quickly. First thing that people usually ask me about is posts, but they usually say blogs because that's what they're thinking about. In WordPress, there's no such thing as blogs. They are called posts. So if you want to create a new post, you can either do it here in your dashboard by coming to posts, add new, or from any screen, as long as you're logged in, you can just click on the um, plus sign and post. But now we will just click on posts, add new. This is how you add a new post. And do check out the video for the difference between posts and blogs. So when you come in here, you would put the title of your post, title here. Um, if you want to future date your post, meaning you don't want it to publish immediately, you can just come over to where it says publish, the publish features, go to publish immediately, but don't click on publish immediately, click on edit and you can put the date. So you can select any date where you'd want this um, post to go out. Um, another quick hint that I would say, um, always, always, always write your posts in Word first and then add them to your website. The reason why I would suggest that is because it does give you the opportunity to repurpose your posts. And that way, if anything ever happens, you do have a copy of your post. Um, now, if you are going to cut and cut and paste from Word, always copy it and paste it using the text mode as opposed to the visual mode. Um, you can add categories here. So let's just say you're doing a post on cooking. You can add it there, add new category. And this is where you set your featured image. So this would be the image that comes up as a thumbnail in your posts or, or when you're representing your posts. Okay, so that's where you would add the featured image. The other great thing that about the B theme that I really love is the SEO. So anytime I'm discussing a theme with someone, I always talk to them about the SEO. With B theme, you can control the SEO for each page. So we're in a new post, you can control the SEO for each page in the page or in the post, or you can do it from the appearance, then go down to B theme options. I'm gonna leave this one. So I'm coming out of this, I'm gonna leave it. If you go to appearance, B theme options, and then just go to SEO, this is where it will give you the opportunity to put the description, your SEO description. Um, so here we will put um, Houston, based Jamaican food, okay? And do be sure to read my blog about Jamaican food. Love the service. No, other way around. Love the food, hate the service. That's my most popular post so far. But anyway, SEO, you can put the uh, meta description, your keywords, food, hot, spicy or whatever you want to put. Now, by saving this, what it's going to do is if you do not change the SEO in an individual page, then that will be the SEO. That will be what shows up in Google. Um, you can 
update your logos. So if you go to global, this is where you add the logo for the site. Um, sliders, I don't usually do anything with that. This is also where you can manage the information in the footer. So you can put the um, copyright sign and you know, so copyright, one stop Car Caribbean market, all rights reserved, designed by website CASA. This is also where you manage the colors for the site. So you can have a custom skin and change the colors all at once from here. Um, or you can have a one color skin and you would then be able to change the colors for each individual element on your site. So your header, your menu slash action bar, content, footer, etc. All right. Um, the other thing that I usually tend to use in, in the um, B theme appearance, B theme options is your fonts. This is where you would manage the fonts site wide. So again, I do recommend that you log into your GoDaddy panel at least once a month. To log into your actual WordPress um, back end, you don't need to log into your GoDaddy panel. You can do it by putting in your domain name slash WP dash admin and then just enter your username and password. This was just a really quick overview of um, the B theme. If you need more information, check the links below because I will be adding other videos. But by far, I would say that um, B theme is one of the most comprehensive themes. It does come with Visual Composer. So if you don't want to use the Muffin Builder, which is what um, B theme uses for most of their demo information, you can use Visual Composer, which is amazing and it also comes with revolution slider so that's how you get these really great images at the top of um, websites um, so anyway that is a quick overview of B theme the B theme license is only fifty nine dollars and if you buy it through theme forest they do charge um, a a fee of about three dollars so it comes up to $62 um, and it's, it's well worth it because you would be able to use any one of those 240 pre-built websites and for that $59 what you're going to get is six months worth of support from Muffin Group who are the people that have created it and as you can see five star rating. So that's, that's it for me. Just a quick overview of B-Theme. If you need anything, as always, you can give us a call on 713-344-1761. That's 713-344-1761. And if you need a website, just give us a call um, on that number. Or you can just visit www.websitecasa.com. Our quick start package starts at just $3.95. And we can do bespoke websites that are going to give you and full scripting up to 25 pages, two months SEO, starting at $3,499. Thanks again for watching, and do be sure to subscribe and check out some of the other videos.